Blue Drake, Blue Drake, what a fantastic day. Wow, so now Blue Drake's getting involved in all this. Your cam has reached out to Blue Drake, and now Blue Drake's sticking his little knob in. What the hell is going on? Well, yes, in case you weren't aware, Blue Drake's now put a video out where he does a he does these rant videos. And I'm public enemy number one. Yes, apparently I went out and I attacked uh who was it? Dyslexi. And do you know what? In fact, if you probably go onto Google History and search over the last 20 years, you'll probably find that I've slagged off everybody. That's how the internet works. You vent your spleen, as it were. Certain people will do something that annoys you, and you just don't like that person that that's as simple as it works. So, no, I don't like dys- dyslexia. And uh, the reasons for that, are, I honestly can't remember. I'm sure there was something. Uh, regarding Blue Drake, now Blue Drake's a really interesting one because I remember having a conversation, it may have even been Karma uh, on Discord once and no, I didn't actually bring it up although you all seem to think I'm obsessed with the guy but I'll tell you why in a minute somebody mentioned that Blue Drake has this pers- persona he comes across as a fucking asshole and yeah, I think he's an asshole a lot of people think he's an asshole does this mean he is in real life an asshole? No, I don't think it is. As I said, a lot of people have said to me, look, actually, when he's not on the web doing his thing for his website, he's actually quite a quiet, down-to-earth guy. This this thing he has on his YouTube channel went, he, and he does a rant and he, and he slags, that's his persona. It's the op- it's his yin and yang, just as I have, I have mine. I may come across as a hot-headed ass, right? But that's kind of like my, my web perspective persona as well. Doesn't mean I'm like that in real life whatsoever. So I think it's interesting it's getting like this. We're just a small gaming community and I guess it's almost like no publicity is bad publicity. And for him to come out and say, you attacked dyslexia, why would you attack? Attacked him. Oh my God. I left a comment on a forum saying I didn't like the guy because he just churned videos out. And I guess thinking about this, if I'm going to step aside and, and look at this subjectively, completely subjectively, straight down the line, not my persona, nobody else, it's just honestly. I think a lot of the times when I get frustrated with things like this is because you, I feel like I put a lot of effort into my videos. I try to, you know, colour correct them and, and this and this and this. And when you put these videos out and you get very, very little views... So you think, well, I'll try another one, I'll try another one. And then you look at some of the people like Blue Jay. Well, they just press record, they do some gameplay, press stop, and they get like 180,000 views and all this sort of stuff. It, if I'm honest, it does get to you after a while, and you, you kind of become a little bit bitter. And you see that everybody else's success becomes like a thorn in your side, and it's like, well, why are I getting bigger? Why are I getting bigger? And the fact that I spend so much time on the computer because, uh, because you know, I work in this industry anyway, I don't think it helps. You, you, you end up getting kind of cabin fever, and you're constantly looking at YouTube, you know, for every little comment and every little like and all this, and it, and it really does eat away at you. So I will admit, yes, it's become a little bit too much probably come a little bit too bitter. So I don't really hold anything, if I'm honest, against Blue Drake. I probably would like to have a chat with him um, uh, on, on TeamSpeak or whatever and tell him he's a fucking asshole. And he'll probably say the same thing to me, but that's that's how it goes. You either get on with people or you don't. As I mentioned earlier, the reason I, I don't like him is because when I met him in armour, I, bu- I bumped into him in armour once, and he was completely different to the, the, the way he's portrayed a lot of the time. Uh, and it was totally fine. And, and then I jumped into uh, into a game with squad with him. We're going back now when it was only on a weekend. I think it was a closed closed testing phase or something like that. And um, I, I bumped into him on the on the battlefield. He wasn't even in my squad. And I remember asking him. I says, "How, how do I go about building my channel up?" I says, "I put a lot of effort into it." And I, I can't remember what he said to me, but it was re- it was really off the cuff, kind of. You haven't got any talent. Blah 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 blah. And now, he may have been just trolling me there, but personally, because I'd put so much effort into it, I really took that personally, and I know I'm talking about you shouldn't, blah, 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 but I did at the time, and that's really, I think, why I got my bee in my bonnet with Mr. Drake. 
for no other reason, really. So then any, any other time his name comes up, it's like, yeah, yeah, I can throw, <laughs> just throw fuel onto the fire. I hate that bastard. Oh, motherfucker, motherfucker. So really, that's what it comes down to. And, and the whole thing with, with Karma Cut, it's getting ridiculous now, yeah. People poke me with a stick, and then I go, rah, 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 rah. and then uh, they wonder why I'm, oh, you're getting angry, you're an asshole. Well, well, don't poke me with a stick then, leave me alone. Why Carmen had to get involved in this whole Reddit thing because he's his friends is unprofessional, but we go round and round and round and round and round again. Oh, your Reddit messages, they, they weren't private, they were this. It doesn't matter what they were, the fact is he went looking for them. That's what really, really fucked me off when I offered to help him create new content for his channel and helping out and get involved in the squadcast, which probably won't go on now since I'm hot shit around here, public enemy number one. It probably won't happen, but I, he was going to get involved in all that, so that's all in, in the mist now. It's all like, I don't know what's happening with all that kind of stuff. So now that Blue Drake's involved, of course, I expect all the haters to come in, and, and it's already happening. I'm already getting shit left, right, and centre. I might as well be a farmer. So I'll just stand at the gate of my farm with a shield and my pitch and fork, ready to defend myself from the horse shizen that's that's inevitably coming. It's already started. And once it's all died down, I'll carry on farming again. You see, the thing is, with the amount of subscribers I've got, it's never going to grow to be a big thing where I can do it for a job. I've, I've shot myself in the foot with it. I tried to do the Blue Drake being an ass thing, and it kind of backfired on me, I'll be honest. So that's never going to happen. But I create the videos because I enjoy doing them. That's what it comes down to. And you'll notice on my channel there are other videos such as the, the Armour Farmers and the other little bits. That's because I enjoy the fun of creating videos and then looking back on them. The fact that I've tried to make a job out of it and it's failed, well, it's one of those things. It flopped, it didn't work. The business plan didn't work, man. So the videos I, I create now really are because I enjoy doing them. And, and I hope you can see that in some of the squad videos that I do. You know, I colour correct them and I do this. I get all arty farty, man. So I do them because I enjoy it. So it isn't going to stop. So pull your pants down, throw as much shite my way as you want. It certainly isn't going to stop me creating videos. And for all the people who downvote, it actually helps me. I don't think a lot of people understand this now. Your up and down votes are not relevant to where you get listed. If you have, say, one like and a thousand downvotes, it actually helps you in the rankings because it's classed as community interaction. So it really doesn't matter. And there's always the one guy who gives me the, the down the down thumb on every video, even like 20 seconds after I've wrote, he's become infamous now. It's almost like I need a t-shirt that says para players with a down thumb on it. Anyway, right, so that's enough of my rant video because I know Blue Drake's got his rant video out. So that's my rant video out, job done. Bring it on. I'm ready for it, but needless to say, I certainly will not be stopping creating videos. I am still going to enjoy creating squad videos. And whether Blue Drake now decides to ban me off his PR server, well, that's that's up to him. I'm sure I'll have to find another way or another server to jump on, but that's life, and we continue on. So thanks a lot. Thanks for the support. Thanks for everybody who's been interacting in this entire shitstorm on YouTube and the whole community. And maybe, just maybe, it's a community that got trolled. I'll leave that one with you. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Au revoir, my little puppets. Well, he's got his little ducklings, what is it? Dr Draklings. So I've got my little Yorkshire puddings. I shall see you in another video. No more rants, hopefully. Coming real soon. Bye-bye.